pipeline politics. The dispute between Russia and Ukraine has resonated across the globe. Countries not affected in any way are nonetheless taking sides. And the headlines are not shy at pointing fingers. A common theme is gas being used as a geopolitical weapon in Russia's power-hungry plans. But could that really be the case? Well, it's hard to believe that Russia can use gas as a political weapon. Uh, because uh, those who are anti-Russian by definition will continue to be anti-Russian in Ukraine. Those who support Russia will continue to support Russia. So I don't think that uh, there is any specific political goal that can be achieved by using energy. The geopolitical weapon argument falls apart when looked at in detail. What country has the worst relations with Russia at present? Answer Georgia. While diplomatic relations have been cut off, the gas has not and continues to flow regardless of the political environment. Russia continues to supply gas to Georgia even in the tragic days of South Ossetia. Uh, Georgia decided uh, to prevent uh, supplies of Russian gas to South Ossetia. The Baltic states, equally not Russia's closest pals, have a stable relationship with Moscow in the energy sector. All because they agreed on a transition period in which prices would gradually reach market level, having previously been subsidized as a legacy of Soviet times. They pay their bills on schedule, unlike Ukraine, which still seeks ways of avoiding payment. And it's not only Russia which says that Ukraine is playing games. Ukraine uses gas as a political weapon in, the, in that sense that they are an important trend country for sure. Russia tries to use uh, the gas uh, in order to put pressure on Ukraine, but everybody would do so. I don't uh, see uh, today a strategy of Russia in order to get Ukraine, more influence Ukraine uh, via the gas. I think this is completely un, uh, un, uh, impossible. The international media, including in many countries not involved in or affected by the row, seems to have made up its mind that this is a political dispute. But others say this is simplistic and that essentially commercial differences underpin the row. Three years ago when this first happened, when, when the pipeline was shut down, um, Europe came to a fairly simplistic conclusion that uh, this is directed against Europe that Russia is flexing its muscles and using energy as a weapon. Now I think there's a much better understanding that um, Europe is an innocent bystander and not the intended victim in this, that um, this is the result of an extended dispute between Russia and Ukraine. But while many search for a bottom line to the situation, there are those who have simply reached rock bottom. Countries in the EU that have been affected by the spat no longer care about the politics, blame games, and myriads of explanations. They're simply tired of being left out in the cold. Slovakia, Bulgaria, and Moldova are those hit hardest by the lack of supplies. Close to violating their EU accession terms and restarting their nuclear reactors, their message is perhaps the clearest of all. We don't care what the problem is, we just want our gas. Katrina Zava, RT, Moscow.